Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with some Artist Loft and Floatrol mixture. You can find my paint pouring recipe below the video. I might have a little more than I want, but I'm going to do a swipe using my prism pours as long as I can get all my bottles out of the way. And the paint that I have left over in the saucer will probably go to fix the edges. I want to do a simple burst, but we'll see what happens. I've got some colors mixed up in one ounce container, two ounce containers. I mixed one ounce of Vivid Polypore. It's from it's a color art product, and then I almost filled the container. I filled the container until I couldn't put any more in, and I could easily mix it without having it overflow. And I used some. And the next day I added my 25% GAC 800 because I had some cracking because I wasn't good at blooms because <laughs> I left the base layer too heavy because you know me, I kind of do what I want and then I suffer the consequences. Most of the time I get lucky and then there's those times when you have to learn to love crazing. And my impression of what I'm going to do now is just to leave the center empty and not worry about it until I get to a point where I have to make a choice and if the choice includes having to come back tomorrow and add something else then I will do that. I don't think it matters that much where the paint goes believe it or not. But I would like to use up and have fresh containers because of the polypore. It starts to get very thick after a few days. You definitely got to keep mixing it as you go along. And the lids get stuck on a little bit. So I'm contemplating what other kind of lid I'm going to use. Or container entirely. I know there's a bunch of people out there making all kinds of really cool stuff for pouring artists. So... That's what I'm going for. That was Egyptian coin. This is pink diamond. This is frozen. I've got some dribbles in my middle, so whatever the middle is going to do, it's going to do it soon, sooner than later, because I can't leave that there. I kind of want to just go for that. Just what I've got there, but I've got other colors, and I want to use them. I've got Claret. I believe, you know what, I need to check my list. This is not blue velvet, but this is African violet, twilight violet. Do I have another one? No. I believe that this is twilight violet. And the African violet is also beautiful and very similar. didn't put any decide to put any water dragon in there but I kind of want to you know what I'm going to do instead I'm going to I'm going to stick with oh I've got another purple over there I got to label my containers honestly this is blue violet blue velvet excuse me and that looks like plenty to play with and I'm going to take a bunch of Amsterdam Black and Aussie Floatrol and I'm going to try and use my little acetate tools which I'll have to leave a link underneath the 20% off link under the video. I'm going to scrape that off. Where am I going to scrape it off? I have another, I need another scrape dish. Preferably without 
All right, so I'm gonna go across. And split the difference. In that case, I scraped up some paint I'd like to leave there. So hopefully that'll be all right. Wipe off my little tool on my wet studio rag. Always a good thing to have. I am doing this because I've been thinking about it and because I can. That is the name of my first book next to my second book. My second book is Unlimited Possibilities. They're both in the Amazon link. And the Amazon link is on my link tree. My link tree is under the video. It has all my links on it like Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups. I think I could have used some more gold. This is going to be interesting. It's it's looking a little gummy right now. But I'm having fun anyway. I think it's time to use the smaller smaller tool in a second. Maybe not or maybe so. Let's grab a little more of the Amsterdam black. This is my smaller tool. I have a video. If I didn't post the video, remind me and I will do so. That scraped right down a canvas, but it made an interesting spot and it taught me a lesson about which pressure I want to use. kind of prefer the ones with the pink. I might have to tip this. I'm just going to use the edge of my little tool. to motivate some paint. Try not to destroy any anything really cool. I got a few dendrites. You can often turn these over and let whatever is deposited on the top Wow, that one didn't get any uh, cells in it. That's amazing. I didn't even know that could happen. It's okay. I kind of like everything being a little different. Is okay with me. Not sure what I did differently there. It's probably the amount of pressure. By the same token, I can also come back. I like that. Still a little paint and make a petal shape. A little rounded nubby filling in. And I'm going to have to think about going, going through the center. Because I think I'm almost done. I 
I'm inclined to put a little bit of gold in the center. But I can also play with it, which is always tempting. I'm putting some gold in there. Egyptian coin, do I have enough left? And some pink diamond, I think. That was a lot. That was a lot, a lot. It's Amsterdam white. It's going to end up being a flower, I think. <laughs> Which is okay. I think it'll be beautiful no matter what. I didn't put anything around the edges. But I think that'll be okay. I kind of want some orange in there and all I have is something called bonfire and that'll change things monumentally. So I think what I might do is put a little bit of my dioxazine purple in there cautiously. just to make it a little more interesting. All right, so I love you guys. I hope you take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I've got just enough paint if I want some. In my little scrape dish to use. It's not a bloom, even though it sort of looks like a bloom. The temptation is to blow out some of that pink. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with the center to begin with, but I'm really pretty happy with those cells. Those colors are the bomb. Don't forget this 20% off coupon. Please use my email address to inquire about purchasing an artwork or taking a class with me at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I will probably torch. I do give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. That's what I was trying to say. I like being able to use the torch instead of having to pop all the bubbles by hand. That's because I'm not using pillow paint, but it still might be a little risky because it is the vivid polypore. In any case, I find that beautiful. And I want to make sure to thank you guys for all the wonderful comments and kind words you give me. Keep my morale boosted. I'm going to probably paint the edge of my canvas black. There's a really good chance of that I guarantee and uh, I want you to check out over over 2300 videos I'm gonna try and zoom in oh that's good I've got a lot of reflection so the thumbnail will look different than this I'd like to take out one of those lights I can't really do it you know what I've got something that I could probably shade that light out with let's give it a try there we go. Now you can see a lot better without much reflection. Anyway, <clears throat> under my link tree you'll find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups. My Society6 pages are well worth visiting because they're really cool. And uh, my the gallerist clothing made in Montreal is also very cool. It's uh, investment quality though. My Amazon link is a great place to shop. If you start there, I uh, I benefit and I have two books there because I can and unlimited possibilities. I can't believe I'm just holding a sheet of plastic up to keep the light from reflecting. I don't use these lights very often so it's a novelty. 
I might be wobbling too. Can I get any closer in there? I bet I can. What a beautiful bunch of colors. That's an exceptional, exceptional piece. I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Make sure you know that there's a donation available to get you into the monthly drawing. You'll be automatically given an invitation to get into the monthly drawing. Should you make a donation through PayPal on the lower, lower right hand side of my YouTube channel banner and the link is also in the link tree. <clears throat> you can see the prizes for that monthly drawing that happens at the beginning of the month on the exhibition video that's on the end screen of this video in the last 20 seconds. If you have questions, please ask. My community board will show you tomorrow's video. If you're looking for playlists, you can find all playlists and creative playlists and follow those leads on my, uh, on my YouTube channel. What else? What else? What else? Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors will have albums of YouTube artworks, older ones and hopefully newer ones someday soon. I'm, sure, I'm not sure what I'm forgetting. Oh, Teespring Clothing is now Spring Clothing. It's below the video, and you can request a design added to that if you can't find what you're looking for. And uh, press on any of those pieces of clothing to find out what's there. It'll lead you to the site. I mentioned Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links, so I guess for right now, if you have questions, please ask, and I think I mentioned that. And I love you guys, and you inspire the heck out of me. Goodbye for now. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying I love you. Bye for now, and I'll see you in on.